Hello guys, how are you? Another small update on uh, my 148 MiG-29 um, from Great Walls Hobby which is uh, embedded on the um, MiG group build hosted by UK Skill Modeler or Ian. Hello Ian. And um, I had a few things going on on this one. Uh, let's just take a look. Well guys, right now the MiG-29 is like this. Um, I have worked on it a bit. Um, I po-shaded a bit on the, um, the neutral grey, uh, the XF-53. I gave it a bit of a diluted smoke. Um, I still have to fade it a bit, uh, maybe. Let me see how uh, the tonality of the, the, the camouflage goes and um, I maybe have to tone tone it down a bit. I have painted the cone nose on um, XF24 um, dark grey and the uh, rear stabilizer thin fins. Um, I have also painted these air intakes in red because I saw some pictures on uh, Google about this particular model on the track stopped and they are red um, unfortunately unfortunately this kit today flew his first time and his um, test flight was not successful meaning that he I just just went into the ground uh, it was my fault butter hands and he slipped and went to the ground. This rear stabilizer here broke, completely broke. I had to uh, glue it and um, again drill it, drilled it and with a bit of a um, needle just, well, I think it went well. Um, but here the engine just and I looked at it and said, oh well, uh, things happened and um, I am enjoying this kit so much that uh, I am just forgetting this. Because if I try to mend this, make this right, I will probably end up uh, breaking or, uh, I don't know, this section portion here of the engine. So. If uh, this is like this, it's not perfect, but it is the way it is. And uh, quite honestly, if you're looking, if you're looking for perfection on my channel, it's not, it's not the right channel. You must go to another place, cause, uh, and I don't mind. I'm having so much fun on this that, well, you guys already know now. This part here, when it broke, when it um, hit the floor, just. And it's too bad, yes it is, but there's nothing I can do about it now. Um, I just post-shaded a bit, as you know. This was painted, hand-painted with uh, True Metal, uh, AK True Metal aluminum. Um, with the, the, sorry, the steel, with the AK steel the AK-457 steel and then polished with um, a microfiber cloth and uh, turned out pretty well. Uh, painted as you saw the engine with the uh, pale burnt metal from uh, Alclad. This here. And I already painted um, the piton tube on the same color here as you can see and improved a bit the landing gear painted the landing gear on the base color and um, 
just let I just let these in aluminum and steel the hydraulic pieces also and the rest is on the base coat also the missiles are still without the decals and um, all the other parts are on the base coat ready to be placed underneath after the, um, the missiles are glued to it so right now this is the way it is I truly uh, what to say it's too bad this uh, kit went to the ground I, I yes but nonetheless I am enjoying it having fun and uh, well this is what happens when you model and you have butter fingers so this is the way it is and um, this is the way it is right now uh, it went to the ground it hit the ground and uh, I don't know what to say um, I didn't want uh, it was going so well and I looking at this but I don't mind, I just don't mind. It's just a beautiful plane. Um, its lines are amazing. And, um, well, I like it. So, see you guys, keep modeling, always with a smile, okay? Watch out, work on top of the table, not on your knees with the ground underneath because when this happens all the best to you okay keep modeling see you guys <laughs>